Yesterday, oil prices skyrocketed following Joe Biden's statement. According to the U.S. president, the strategic oil reserves are almost half depleted. At the same time, Washington intends to keep using them to stabilize fuel prices. This means that the authorities plan to continue selling oil from the U.S. strategic petroleum reserve. What's more, Biden said that he would replenish stocks when the U.S. crude was around $70 per barrel, which came as a shock to investors. There are no such price levels even in the U.S. domestic market, thus the reserves may be almost completely exhausted and there will be nothing to replenish them. Thus, the United States at a risk of facing energy shortages. That's why oil prices surged. The situation can be stabilized by the White House press service, which has repeatedly corrected the U.S. president. If there are some details concerning this replenishment of the stocks today or tomorrow, the market will come and stabilize a bit. Otherwise, oil prices will extend gains. According to the trading chart, Brent crude oil futures failed to settle below their $90 level. Instead, this level acted as support. As a result, the quote added over 3%, and this move can be seen as a pullback from the important level, as well as the component of the downward cycle initiated on October 10. Gold has failed to break below $1,620 per ounce, and there are no signs of a rebound. The quote is currently trading in a pretty broad range limited by the levels of $1,620 and $1,660 per ounce. Apparently, the yellow metal will hit to the upper boundary of this range. The asset is likely to continue moving up until the situation in the gold market changes uh, fundamentally. A serious uh, shift in market sentiment can be caused only by the meeting of a major central bank. The downtrend will resume if the price fixes below the 1620 mark. And in this case, an increase in the volume of short positions will bring the price at least to the level of 1,600. Instead of stabilizing, the ruble continues to gain value. Yesterday, the US dollar dropped at almost 60 rubles. Later on, the quotes went up again, but failed to reach even 62 rubles per dollar. And this indicates that major market players see no preconditions for a weaker ruble betting on its gradual strengthening. If uh, the situation remains unchanged, the greenback will fall below 60 rubles in the near future. And that's all for now. We continue to know developments on financial markets. Subscribe to the channel and follow me as See you soon.